Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon uh, of Magnetic Service. The group is floating, and it's not the first time we have done something where hundreds are together and not grounded. We recall the time in the place you call Israel, where 300 in three vessels floating together enjoyed one trance, one channel, singing together as one. And it is the same today, except there are 400. Dear ones, that's what I want to discuss. There's something that can happen on this vessel. For those who are not here, we say to you that this is a boat, and the 400 are now floating in the lake. On their way to the first destination, which has been called the island with male energy. But right now, you're neutral. I want to talk more about that very fact of grounding. Dear ones, here are things that I have never mentioned before. Interesting and yet very telling about what happens to those on the water. Not just on the water, but in groups on the water. I want to give you a metaphor. And the metaphor is just that. Do not compare it with reality. But the metaphor is of lightning on the planet. When the charge is too much and the energy is too great to be held in the clouds, the electricity, which is mostly static, is discharged to the earth. And the discharge then takes care of the energy. It is no longer in the clouds. Some of you understand the principles of grounding and the rods that can stick up and absorb the lightning. But it's the process I want you to see. Too much energy gets discharged to the ground, and that takes care of it. There is something similar to human beings that you're not aware of. Did you know that one of the purposes of Gaia, the beauty of the planet, the system of the planet that works with human beings, is part of you being able to discharge energy into the ground? When some of you have issues, and truly the energy is building of your anxiety, there are a few of you who are so tuned in to Gaia that you will go outside, take off your shoes, put your feet in the grass, or actually hug a tree. And you know what happens then. For the discharge is complete and the anxiety starts to subside. This is your lightning. This is your discharge into the ground. And as you are here in this boat, you can't do it. And so the discharge is not possible. But what is possible is for you to start to understand the process. Now there's something else going on here that's beautiful. Dear ones, the ancients knew that there is some kind of energy around the human being. Later, it was actually identified. Some have even calibrated it. The name some have given is the Merkaba, or the Merkaba. 
whatever you think of this, it is the field of energy around a human being. Are you aware that this field also is connected to Gaia? Now, it's not connected at the moment in the normal way, where you normally have somehow, you normally have your feet close to the ground. Now, some would say, well, I work in a tall building. <laughs> Dear ones, the tall building is anchored in the ground. And that is connecting you to the ground. But not now. The Merkaba is interesting. For the energy field is really large. Some have said it goes out to eight meters. I will tell you this. It goes out to eight meters when you calibrate it in three dimensions. If you want to look at the potential of the realities on the planet, your Merkaba is partially what you would call multidimensional. Some have even called it quantum. Therefore, how far would it extend if it were multidimensional? And the answer is, there is no boundary. Listen, multidimensional things have certain kinds of realities that have no boundary. That means that that energy that you have literally could be talking to the other side of the galaxy. And that is scientific and it's called entanglement. There is more. So let's bring it back to 3D. We won't get too elegant in this physics. If it goes to eight meters, that means that all of you are connected in this vessel. You're sitting in each other's field and you're not grounded. I'm building a scenario here. And the scenario is this. There is great opportunity right now for you to share each other's energy. Instead of Gaia doing the grounding, the group does it. You have heard this all your lives, that where two or more are gathered together in the same consciousness of prayer, meditation, or alliance, that it's more powerful. There's greater strength in what you can do together than alone. Think of this, 400 of you, all developing the same thought for one another. And that's what we're going to do. Because you're not grounded, there are some things that can come forward far easier. The water is reflective. That is a metaphor. And it is something that you are starting to be able to develop on the water. Things will come forward that are energetic. Now listen, I've never said this before. There are certain attributes of consciousness that don't need grounding. They're as powerful and as strong no matter where you are. Can you imagine what they might be? They're the ones that have come directly from the creative source. And here they are, compassion, pure love, and the one you didn't expect, laughter. You don't need grounding. These are pure. They are from the other side of the veil. And that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about everything else. The lightning, the worries, the anxieties, the feelings you have, the things are not working well. What's going to happen tomorrow? What are you going to do about the things perhaps that are in your life that are not working as you perceive it? What are you going to do perhaps of the fear 
of some of the things around you or within you that grow when you're on the water. That's the lightning. That is what you cannot discharge. There's no tree to hug at the moment. But you have each other. And the power of the Merkaba, which can touch anything at any time, means that the Merkaba itself is a vehicle of grounding. Named in Hebrew as the vessel you ride in, you understand what I mean. All of you right now have the ability to come together in one thought as a lightning rod and help one another even if you don't know what the other needs this is the beauty of pure esoterics you don't need to know how things work in order to enjoy the strength and the beauty of their process you don't need to know who you're praying for all you have to understand is that they're just like you they are family. They have the same peace of God in them you do. There's the connection. You might say this vessel has one large compassionate energy at this moment. The compassion and the love that you can create if you concentrate on it right now can actually help and dismiss change attitudes you might even be able to create a healing vortex right here right now so let's do it the process that we are using now is spiritual and basic physics together you are stronger than individual want you to put your mind upon only compassion the purest love that you can imagine for a mother perhaps it's the first time they looked into the eyes of the infant that came from their body for a father it's the same for those of you who are not parents it would be the greatest love that you have ever experienced in your life and concentrate only on the purity do not concentrate on your issue and in this way you build almost a violet flame of beauty surrounding this vessel so that so many can place themselves in it <clears throat> and suddenly what this does is start to consume all of the things that are inappropriate for mastery self-worth can start to rise because the things that will cause you to doubt are being burned in the violet flame the flame itself is the grounding issue that you are creating right here there are those on this vessel that may very well feel the healing force of all of you and leave the vessel differently today than they arrived. That's how powerful it can be. Rearranging the engrams of syntax in your minds, in your brain that says that you're not worthy. It's a healing meeting and you didn't expect it and you can do it on the water because there's no grounding to interrupt the focus of compassion what a beautiful thing for you to remember the next time you gather together with the focus of esoterics and spirituality on a boat I want you to concentrate focus this not your issues just the most beautiful thing you can possibly think of. Even the captain might feel it. 
<laughs> and that has happened so many times that the workers around the group want to know what you did because they felt better for it. This is the energy you develop. This is what you can do. Continue your focus. Continue your focus. A violet flame is there and it's huge and the healing is there. Let the entities that some of you know about arrive. We greet Saint Germain and the healing energy of this flame. The great healer, the master. Dear ones, don't think of the prophets. Think of that which is inside you being enhanced to the degree that everyone is one thing, one flame, one beautiful, beautiful power that is going to consume anything inappropriate in your life. This is what you can do as a group. Fantastic. Now come down from that for a moment and relax back into who you are. I'd like to tell you what the next step will be in the future. And it has to do with the evolution of the old soul's energy. If you can do this for a group on the water, I want you to return to my statement that you have multidimensional Merkabas. Is it possible that a few could therefore change the planet? Think about it. For as you grow in your abilities and your higher consciousness starts to place itself on this planet with you and your children and humanity starts to grow up a few can help the many. There is still free choice. Those who don't want to be helped won't be. That's free. What you do is create the beauty of allowance, a letting those step into the beauty who can't do it themselves. I just gave you the mechanism where old souls will be able to help new souls that don't have what you have, the experience, the wisdom, the knowledge, or the compassionate mind. That's coming. Do you see how this might work in the future? Some of you will leave this place differently than you came, and that is the whole reason for Cryon. I'll be back. And so it is.